what we got here, we've got a question that says something like this. Under the muscle or over the muscle placement, which one gives the most natural look? Um, so this is this is one of those ones where I think it's very easy to give a sound bite answer. And I think, I, I'll be honest, I've been criticised on YouTube uh, for, shall we say, waffling slash droning on. Um, I'm going to take the criticisms on board. But the problem is, you know what? It's not it's not black and white. A lot of this stuff, and you can't be too, you know. You can't. You can't. I can't just say yes or no to that. I can't answer that question yes or no. I can't. Hand on heart, I cannot say under the muscle or over the muscle one gives a more natural result. I cannot say that. And the reason I cannot say that is because the vast majority of my patients want a natural result, and I sometimes put them under and I sometimes put them over. So if it did give, if one of them gave a na more natural result, I would, you know, I would do it more often. So it depends on the person. It depends on the implant. It depends on the type of the implant. The basically the difference between under or over the muscle is when you put them on top of the muscle, there's a more of a risk of it of ri rippling, seeing visible rippling. So if you're very slim, if you haven't got much subcutaneous fat over your chest, um, and then you can increase your risk of rippling. Certain types of implants, like for instance, the um, uh, smooth silicone implants ripple more. So certain types will ripple more. So if these are putting your risk of rippling to be higher. Therefore, you might say, well, that's not very natural having rippling, is it? So um, I'm going to put them underneath the muscle because that's going to give me a more natural result because it's going to hide the implant in the upper pole. True. But the muscle can they can sit high they can sit wide and you can get animation deformities which means when you move your arm the, the breast moves so that's not natural is it if you get an animation deformity or if they're sitting high or if they're sitting wide doesn't look natural so that would be a reason to say well they're more natural if you put them on top of the muscle so the answer to the question is it depends on what's right for you you have to balance there are things that can make it look more natural for them being on top and there's things can make them look more natural from the underneath and vice versa and you have to balance the risks versus the benefits not sure if I've understood, if I've explained that very well, but basically what I'm saying is you just can't give a straight answer. Much as I think people would like me to say, yep, this is the best way to do it. That's more natural. It depends on the person. It depends on your soft tissue cover. It depends on the size and the type of implant you're having. Fact.